Whitney from the Holiday Homestead. Um, this is a video about milking our goat. <laughs> this is Lulu. Lulu's. And so um, she is our kinder goat and she's the only one that we're milking right now. Um, so I will show you guys how it's, how, it's how we do it. All right, so you got your treats. Come on, come on. Come on, knows what she's doing with milking. She is awesome. So this is a milking stand that I got um, as a trade for another goat that we had. And um, it just worked out really well. And the guy actually made it for me in exchange for a goat plus a little bit of cash. So the first thing you want to do is wipe off the teats. Um, so Lulu is a kinder. And she um, produces she produces a good amount of milk. Um, so she has pretty firm um, teat plugs. They're like little plugs in her teeth that keep the milk from just spilling out. So you got to break that first. And I use a container. Um, that I can keep a hand on so I don't use like a bowl or a pan because um, You end up uh, having to put your thumb in the um, Milk sometimes or inside the bowl and doing this your thumbs aren't always clean So I like to have a container that has a handle on it. Also, I keep my hand on the container because she is not always the best at standing still for being milked. There are times when she'll just stand for me really easily and I can just get this done super fast and like I can do both. If it'll work. The other one. Oop. And there are other times where she does that. So I mean there's no guarantee how your goat's gonna be. The well-trained goat definitely will stand for you and that'll be easy. Um, but, you know, she's about two years old. We've only been milking, no, she's three years old. We've only been milking for about a year, um, a little under actually. So she's still kind of new at it and so am I. And so, um, you know, every once in a while she just kind of stumbles around a little bit and moves. So that's why I keep one hand on the container and one hand on the teat. <laughs> Um, now there are definitely times when I've been able to milk both at the same time with two hands and put this down, but every once in a while I'll get a foot in the milk and that is really frustrating when you're, um, working and <laughs> milking and it's hot and right at the very end they put their foot in it. Oh, it's so frustrating because basically you just can't use that milk now. And so, um... So the best thing that we have found is just to keep the container in hand. And so also I've got her with some treats um, and her treats are oats and alfalfa pellets. Um, and that's just what she likes. There's no set amount. But I will say that feeding your goats um, oats does help to increase their their milk supply. So, um, you know, you're kind of, there we go. You're getting the milk and you're encouraging the milk production at the same time. So see, now I'm able to switch over to the other one. And this one, the hole is much bigger. And so this one is a lot easier to milk. And when you're milking, you definitely see why milkmaids <laughs> back in the days had incredibly strong hands. Because it takes a lot. Now, sometimes you can even do this. Oops. Woo. But again, 
you definitely risk getting that foot in your milk. So I prefer just to do this until we're a little better at it. Also, I will say this container is um, old, uh, old um, plastic jug we had for honey. And uh, I like it because it has a back to it. So if I like overshoot or get the milk in the wrong spot, it still pushes it back down into the into the, the bowl part. So it kind of helps me <laughs> with my aim, I guess. All right, so now the bowl is getting kind of full here and she's getting a little bit restless. So what I'm gonna do is grab my reservoir. I learned this early on. So now I have that milk secured with no foot in it. So now I'm going to go back and keep milking. Oops, milk is high high. Oops. No, 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 no. And put some more. loves her snacks, and if they run out, uh, she is very much done. <laughs> so, you got to make sure she's got her snacks, which is fair. So, oops. And so you can kind of massage the bag a little bit. She's not a huge fan of that, but she tolerates it kind of. So see, that's the thing about milking that I've figured out is, you know, when you're trying to, when you're learning and you're figuring out how it goes, it's okay to be a little messy. It's okay to kind of, you know, get the foot in the milk every now and then, but I just keep trying with it. Anyway, so that is it. So now I have that last little bit of milk. I'm going to put that in my... Jar. So now I've got probably four or five cups of milk in there. Now, four or five cups of milk may seem like very little when you're talking about milking and how much effort it takes. But the thing is, because we're a small homestead, we are fine with just a few cups of milk every few days. We don't drink a lot of milk. I don't make any cheese with it. So this is for like, you know, baking, for pancakes, for anything else we need to do um, that, like a recipe or something that, that requires milk. So normally you'd say, oh man, that's really not that much milk. But when you're on a homestead level, a homestead scale, thank you, honey, y'all done? Okay. When you're on a homestead scale, a Bye, little Lulu. bit, when you're on a homestead scale, a little bit really is fine. Um, and like I said, this suits our needs. So having it, um, having just a little is, is perfectly reasonable. So um, this will give you a better look at the milk stanchion. So the guy who built it uh, works at our local feed store, super nice guy. And it's just pallets um, and he put the slots on. I put the little um, tray here for treats. But he put the bar together so, you know, there's like a place to screw it into. Um, this is a little lock for the head. So they put their head in, you slide this forward, and then this piece here locks into place so that this can only move so much. Um, so it's a very simple design but it works, it's comfortable, and the best part is, is that it's the right size uh, for our goats, because we have small goats. Um, and then my little stool for this is literally just a little stump. <laughs> it's not a big setup, you know, but it works and it's handy, and, uh, and Lulu likes it. Yeah, well done, Lulu. 
Let's do Martha. All right, so that's basically it, guys. Um, we, I milk about um, every other day. So, um, you know, there's not a lot. We've already harvested up her kid, so she doesn't have anything pulling on her milk. Um, so we're just picking up what's left over, basically. And, you know, it's not a ton, but it's, it's good enough for us. So anyway, um, that's basically that. So I uh, hope that helps, guys. Hi. Hi, Martha. <laughs>